Hi my friends, it's me, Mrs. Taggart, and today we are going to do a directed drawing. And do you remember the importance of directed drawing? Fine motor skills, listening to directions, and art. Art is so important. So we're gonna do a little bit of a harder one where I'm gonna tell you shapes and show you what to do, but our shapes don't close. And I'm not even gonna tell you what it is because hopefully <laughs> after I finish drawing it, you'll know what it is. All right, so you're gonna start with an almost closed circle. So at the top of your page, you're going to make your circle, but don't close it all the way, okay? This is our head. From this line, you're going to swoop back the other way. And we're gonna make a curved line uh, that goes almost to the other side of your paper, okay? But you're gonna stop right there. Don't close it to anything. Then from here, we're going to draw a line all the way down and don't close it either, okay? There you go. Wow. Do you know what it is yet? <laughs> no, I don't suppose you do. Okay, we're gonna add some, I'll give you a hint, tail feathers. So this is our tail. We're gonna make some curved, like oval shaped tail feathers, okay? There's our tail. Then we're going to add some legs down here we're gonna add two legs and i'm gonna have some feathers on there too so like our oval shaped feathers two of them because our creature has two legs okay then from our legs uh from these feathers you're gonna make two straight lines down on both and we got to draw the toes okay three oval like shapes to make the toes. Okay, there they are. Now we need uh, some feathers on the back. So I'm also gonna just do these oval like shapes. Then our creature needs a face, okay? So I'm gonna have an eye right here and our creature needs what is that? It's a beak. Let me draw a line right there. Could you guess what it is? Yeah, it's a goose. It's our, it's mother goose. But she's looking at her back. So maybe you can draw like a little farm scene or something, okay? She's in the grass. Maybe she has got a nest with some eggs over here. When you are finished with your drawing, you can trace over your pencil lines with your black Sharpie or your black crayon and then color it in. Or my goose is gonna remain white. So I might just do the background. Maybe I'll paint her in a sunset. Okay, just make sure you trace all of your lines. I hope you enjoyed making this goose with me. Bye.